And welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge Vet Nurse and Dog Trainer Kelly McFarlane. Good to see you. Thank you. It's good to be here. I like your little doggy. Yeah, I thought I'd bring this one instead of the real one today. Oh, see, <laughs> I would have loved it if you brought the real one. But we're talking about cats. Um, <laughs> now, you and I were talking before about the emergency veterinary work you've been doing and how you often find that cats are not microchipped. What's going on? Yeah, there seems to be recently we've had quite a few cats brought in as, you know, strays, even though it's very obvious they've got homes and no, they're not microchipped. Um, and we feel part of the issue might be people with cats tend to put their collar on with their little bell and their name tag and think that's enough um, but actually it isn't so yeah if they could get the microchip that would be fabulous for us. So if you've got a loved pet I've got um, Luke Skywalker and Jar Jar Binks. Perfect name. Yeah if they went missing <laughs> Um, what would happen if they weren't microchips? Well, if they're not microchips, I mean, the issue we have, especially for cats and dogs, is number one, much, much harder to reunite them with the owners. Um, yes, it's great that people post photos on social media and stuff, but the reality is you don't always get the owners back. Mm. Um, and so therefore we end up with an animal with no home, either has to be surrendered to obviously the SPCA um, or even the pound and, and then hopefully find a new home. Hopefully, otherwise yeah. it's the old anyway. Possibly, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what age should they be? to get microchipped? Um, a lot of people tend to wait till the animal's about five months of age, purely because a lot of the animals are, are de-sexed at that age. And so, you know, if you look at kind of the microchip, the needles, even though it's quite hard to see in here, but it's actually, it's quite a big needle. Mm. And um, so we find, you know, if, if the animal's asleep, um, much nicer to, to pop that into them. Than Do when you think conscious. I could put one of those in my husband? Could always give it a go. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I'm coming to you. Yeah. Um, just in case, you know, you never know when you might go stray. Um, what part of the body do, does it go and does it move around? Um, so it generally goes, it gets inserted into the scruff area on both either a dog or a cat. Um, they have been known to migrate, so they can move around the body, um, but the aim is generally you, you do tend to want them to stay in the scruff. And so if we are searching for a microchip when we scan, um, you'll tend to notice we'll literally check the whole body and sometimes even down the legs as well. They have been known to um, migrate migrate down to the shoulder blades. Oh goodness mm. gracious. Yeah. Um, now if you find an animal or animals just turns up on your doorstep, cat or dog, what would you recommend people do? What's the right process? Because they might be microchipped, they might be somebody's loved pet. Yeah, the first thing really is definitely ring your local veterinary clinic. Um, we, you know, the, the, the vets have got all these types of scanners so they can um, get you to pop the animal in, let us scan the animal. And then what we generally do is if it comes up with a barcode, um, so again, each animal has its own individual barcode, um, we generally then check a, a website called the New Zealand Companion Animal Register. And that way then, if that number is in there, it has all the owner's details and we can contact them. So that website that you've just mentioned, the New Zealand, what is Com it? Companion Animal Register. Gee, that's a long one, isn't it? It is can, a long one. <laughs> can you register your own pet's microchip number on there? Yes, you can. Um, and we definitely recommend that once your animal has been microchipped, um, a lot of the time the vets do it for you, but always jump on. You can log in yourself and put all your own details on. Worst case scenario, if you haven't already registered on there and your animal disappears, um, you can jump on there um, and there's like a, a little emergency section and you can stick the number in to say that it's been lost. Awesome, thank you so much for coming Kelly. Okay, now to our pet of the week and congratulations to Noddy. Cute, cute, cute. $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner Jessica Rose Mosley and if you'd like to enter your pet and it could be any type of pet, I think I'll put my two cats in there, just upload a pic on our Facebook page.